Hey everyone, how's it going? So in the newest and latest Bad Batch trailer that we got, there were tons of new things that I went over in the reaction and breakdown video live with you all. Now one thing a lot of you during the stream, in the comments, and on my website, in the forums, have been talking about why Crosshair wasn't in many scenes. And you guys have a lot of different theories about this, so I want to go over a few of them and how they could actually be plausible. This definitely made me raise an eyebrow too. So I think the reason that Crosshair wasn't seen much, and mind you, this could just be something, you know, like a coincidence, but there are two possible theories here. Either he turns on the boys, he turns on the Bad Batch, or he gets killed or is held captive. So I guess, you know, three, but really killed and captive are kind of like the same thing, pretty much, because he's out of commission. Crosshair turning on them makes more sense than him being killed as he was always the most cynical clone of the Batch. I feel once the boys would defy the orders of the Empire, he would kind of find that to be against his way of operating, perhaps, leading in an argument between them and a possible fallout. Now, to go as far as saying maybe Crosshair will turn on his brothers, it's a possibility, I'm not throwing it out the window, as really the only threat to Clone Force 99 would be themselves against each other. As we heard Tarkin say, more capable than an army. So the Empire's really going to need someone powerful in order to take the team out, and Vader entering the scene so early would just be too OP, it would be too overpowered, and I just can't see that happening this early in the game. Maybe if they do a season two, or if they're doing just this one season, maybe at the very end or something like that. So I'm thinking Crosshair ends up betraying them somehow, or, and this is the second theory, uh, second and third, or at the very least, maybe gets kidnapped or even killed by the Empire. Maybe they're holding him as collateral for the clones to carry out the rest of Order 66 or some other errand. If they're doing this, it would kind of give the clones something to do throughout the whole show, or maybe even you know, for a couple episodes, to show their badassery and basically just get their brother back if they could. But if the Empire ends up killing Crosshair, killing one of their own, then... Then, the very neutral Bad Batch, who usually just do their own thing, will now have a reason to fight against the Empire. And this could lead them to Rex, as we saw, and then to Ahsoka, and maybe teaming up with other Jedi who have survived Order 66. So let me know what you think below about Crosshair not being in many of the scenes. Is he dead? Is he held captive? Or is he turning on our boys and he's just gonna go crazy? Kinda like a Jesse vs. Rex moment. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this little theory video. I'm trying to make it as concise as I can just to not drag it out. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you always.